Hi, my name is Truman Kane, and we're going to take a quick look at Surveillance Detection Scout. Come on, let's go. So let's start with the software component of Surveillance Detection Scout. Now, the recently detected dashboard is a place to see, you know, recently detected license plates and faces. Now, as you can see, Scout picks up plates pretty often, so although this isn't the most actionable data, you can do some cool things like search by vehicle maker model. Now, the area you'd probably head to to make better use of all this data, however, is the all plates page. Now here you can see a very small subsampling just for this demo of plates that have been detected, along with make and model info, as well as dates of most and least recent detection. Now, the table is sorted by number of detections to get you started. And as you can see here, I'm able to dig into these high risk results to label them benign if it turns out that the vehicle belongs to a friend, neighbor, or coworker. Now what may stand out is this result with only four detections, yet a high risk rating. Let's see in the field why that is. Now, if there's a chance you're being followed, you might pull over randomly a few times throughout your drive to let any potential following vehicles pass and to give Scout a chance to detect them. If any following vehicles are detected, you'll see a pop-up on the screen letting you know, and you'll see a notification as well on, uh, on your cell phone. And look at that. We just saw the uh, Land Rover Range Rover pass. We see a notification letting us know that uh, this Land Rover has been detected for the fourth time this week. Thanks, Scout. As you just saw, that notification was triggered and this risk rating designated because I had set a threshold for plate detections on four or more days of a given week. In the settings area of Surveillance Detection Scout, you can adjust the threshold down to detections on a single drive, up to detections over months, you can even enable thresholds to consider factors like geographical area before alerting you to a potential follow vehicle. After we are alerted, we can come back to the All Plates dashboard and dig into what caused the alert. On the map, we see the routes that we took, and if it makes things easier, we can enable satellite mode, along with the place markers where this Land Rover in question was detected. There's corresponding information for each of the detections on the left, and if we click one, we can even see our vehicle status, speed, and power usage at the day and time of detection. To make the most educated decision on whether or not this may be a serious threat, we can return to the scene with timeline mode. We jump to the area on our route just before this Land Rover was detected, we see the Land Rover pass, and we can skip ahead a few seconds. Right here, we can even see our vehicle data corresponding to our camera feeds and our geographic location. So those are some of the ways the Scout runs counter surveillance while you drive, but it doesn't end there. Part of Scout implements familiar face detection to let you know if it knows someone perhaps about to attempt to smash a crap or to plant the device. Let's see how it works. Now, those headlights turning on is a native function of Tesla's sentry mode, but when a familiar face is detected, you get a notification just like this one, letting you know of that familiar face. Thanks, Scout. So back here on the recent detections page, or on the all faces page, is where you can easily start putting names to faces. We see the other faces determined to be this person, which we can correct if there's a mistake, but in this case, we'll verify that this is who we think it is by watching the video clip where the detection took place. We'll name this person. And now moving forward, we'll see this name when receiving notifications or we can disable notifications for this person specifically. I hope you enjoyed this quick preview of Surveillance Detection Scout. Whether you're conducting or evading surveillance, Scout's got your six.